Okay, here's a diagram depicting the situation. This family is located here at some given point in time. In this landmark L, if you, they look north from their vehicle and then 62 degrees west, they can sight the landmark. That means this angle right here is 28 degrees. They travel four mile, more miles west. And if they look north and then 38 degrees west, they can see the landmark. And that means this angle is 52 degrees. So we actually have two triangles with two unknowns. Uh, this distance is not known. This distance Y is what we're trying to find. Uh, that's the shortest, the closest they'll ever get to the landmark, the perpendicular distance from this road that they're heading west on. Uh, so the equations look like this for the angle with the 52 degree acute angle, the cotangent of 52 is x over y. Of course, you could say the tangent of 52 is y over x. Or you could find this angle right here, which is the complement of 52, which would be 38. And you could say the tangent of 38 equals x over y. The idea is that since we want to end up with y by itself, we probably want to try to eliminate the x. So if you use cotangent, you end up with these two equations right here. Uh, as far as the triangle with the 28 degree acute angle, the cotangent of 28 is the adjacent side, which is x plus 4 over y. And now if you use the substitution method, you can solve this first equation for x and substitute this expression for x into the second equation. Now, if you're using your calculator, you can use intermediate calculations. But if you want to do it all in one fell swoop, this is what you would do. Here's the substitution. Multiply both sides by y. Get the terms containing y on the same side of the equal sign by subtracting this term. Factor out the y and then divide 4 by cotangent 28 minus cotangent 52. There's your answer. Of course, again, there's different ways to do it. You could use tangent. Uh, you get a little more complicated looking expression. You could also find these acute angles up here and use tangent to get the x's, the variables containing x on the top. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post it.